So when I bought my 1998 R170 SLK 230 with M111 engine, it was like this. So I actually had to resolder all the points, uh, the soldering points on my K40 relay, the original one, as well as replace the faulty crankshaft sensor to start up the engine. Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. The last time you saw my SLK R170, we had a real big issue. It was in limp mode. The idle speed was hunting between 1000 and 1500 RPM and the gas pedal was not working, meaning I could not rev the engine. Hence, it could not be driven. Today, finally after two months, the problem is solved. And I want to take you through this journey uh, that took me two months. The main reason why it took so long was the difficulty with diagnosing a 1998. These are very powerful tools, but when it comes to the older 38 pin connector, they have different prescription of the problem. Well, I understand the C3 is the best and it's the one that we should go to, but uh, not all the time, unfortunately. And sometimes even connecting a C3 takes hours and hours. It's my experience with C3. Mine doesn't really work very well. So I had to go through many, many parts and even replace the ECU, the ASR, throttle bodies, and even the central locking module and ABS sensors, and also the K40 relay, uh, and finally the problem is solved. But now I know what part was faulty. So I will now go through the summary of what I've done and what might cause this issue to your car, because I've heard this is a very, very typical issue with the older M111 engine that can cause limp mode. So let's go through this and see what I have done and what caused this problem with my M111 R170 230 compressor going to limp mode and engine hunting. These are the parts in my experience on M111 engine that can cause a limp mode situation. Okay, and here is the problem. Engine speed zero, of course, it's not idling. Throttle valve zero degree, that is not correct. Throttle valve stop programmed? No, that is another problem. The answer to that question 45 should be a yes, but it's not a yes. That's a problem. Okay, here is the situation. Uh, the car would run perfectly if I take off this throttle body and give it a bit of open the throttle just like 5 degrees or 10 degrees. And if I close it, it starts hunting. See, it's now the same position that it was, but if I open the throttle just a little bit, it works fine. So you see that the throttle valve actually stopped while uh, programming prematurely. It usually should take almost a minute for the ECU to go through testing, pre-testing uh, the throttle body, but it took less than 10 seconds. So that's why the answer to that question is a no. Since the ECU doesn't test it, there is something wrong in between. There is either the communication with the ASR that is causing that uh, testing to stop prematurely or some other issue that we will find out. So we got a different fault memory now. C1025 instead of C1022. So it's all about CAN. CAN signals no reception from traction system. The multifunction module. 
Thanks to Australian ECU Repair for providing this exchange ECU, which is cloned uh, from the original ECU. And that solved my issue ultimately. I put a link in description if you need an ECU repair or diagnosis or uh, a clone ECU if you live in Australia. As soon as I put the original ECU on the car, it starts hunting. And this is the exchange ECU. And when I put back the exchange ECU, it starts working perfectly again. And this is only due to the ECU not being able to communicate with the throttle body, not going through the tests. The hardware is perfectly fine and my original ECU is cloned to this. It's working perfectly. And if you're wondering what I'm doing over here, this is the CAN bus cable over here with white and green that is coming to this central locking pump over here. And as you can see, the connector is totally corroded. I mentioned before that this module is no good. It's exploded. The wires are very damaged and burnt. Uh, both fuses for this, uh, the module itself and the pump, they do have 20 amp fuses. Uh, they were burnt and blown. So what we are getting here is inconsistency. So one second we have 1.8 volt and the other second we have 2.8 and 2.5 and 0 and you see it's not working properly. One of the issues that we might have is this connector over here. Corrosion is what possibly can cause problems with the communication of the CAN lines. So I'm going to clean up this uh, as much as possible. By ordering a new one that is working perfectly and also replacing the ECU that solved the problem ultimately. But I'm 100% sure this exploded, burnt central locking module caused all of this issue caused my ECU to fail because we have CAN communication coming through this module short circuit the positive and negative through the CAN it definitely damages the ECU so that's happened and now that the engine is running perfectly and can rev up perfectly as well I put back my old original uh, K40 relay and the engine is still working perfectly so there's nothing wrong with my K40 at all whatsoever and there was nothing wrong after resoldering the points okay the idle speed issue is solved and the engine is running perfectly but there is another issue as soon as I hit 20 kilometers an hour, the whole issue starts again. I mean, the idle speed hunting and the gas pedal not working. The diagnostic tool does not show this uh, problem at all, but I'm pretty sure this is the ABS uh, sensors. So probably one or two of the ABS sensors are faulty. I have inspected these and they were genuine uh, Mercedes with very old wirings so I'm pretty sure with uh, replacing the ABS sensor this will be solved replacing the rear ABS sensors are super easy just you need to pull this out and then pull this connector out just like that and all you need is now there's one screw number four allen and for the front it's even easier you need to push on that metal tab on top and then move it out sometimes you need a screwdriver to pry it out and then you need to take 
off these two T30 to take off the plastic guard and then remove the ABS sensor. Just like that. And just like that, the R170 is finally ready to hit the road. The only light that is left is the SRS and I will uh, make it disappear in the next few videos. Thanks so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Have a great day. Enjoy your Mercedes. Bye. Phil.